Hello everyone and welcome to Trumper Van Tech where we specialize in HVAC with new everything DIY. And today we have an emergency service call that we're getting a lot of noise for this fresh air intake. I think it's making quite some noise. That alone already helped with the noise. can't see it I just turned off the disconnect I don't want to get under here this whole thing came down all right look at that one threaded rod broken another one broken and a third one broken there wow got only one support holding this whole thing up all right there's the holder you can see the threaded rod literally broke that's the same setup. Same thing broke here. Alright, so I just took this off. It sits on here like this. This tightens down. I wonder if this can be reused. They honestly look bad. I wonder if I can find these somewhere. The idea would be to get four new ones like this. Pick up some threaded rod, some nuts. Maybe we could reuse this, but I don't think so anymore. Cause this is lined up with this duct. Yeah, this thing is gone. And if we can get those things over there to help with vibration. All right, let's take off one side just so we have a sample of what we need. And then we need four of those. All right, guys, I was able to pick up some nice hangers from Canada, huh? All right, some washers, some bolts. Also, we're getting rid of these things. We got new ones. All right, so the old hanger hung here. I want to hang the new one. Also, I want to take off this one, get the new ones on, and start rebuilding. So the idea would be definitely start with these two. Let's get this supported, and then we can get that one supported. And possibly we might change this hanger as well. I did pick that up. pick up new threaded rod as well in case something was damaged I just want to make sure this would line up so if I put it through the hole okay and now we could spin that on that lines up cool we just got to get that vibration thing over here something like this let's run through a washer and bolt to hold that up and then run the threaded rod through with another washer and nut. Watch your eyes. four pieces gonna be the same that's gonna be for the hangers in case we do those all right hold me down gotcha. so we got two sides to this hanger we got a large hole here that's the bottom small hole that's the top cut four pieces like this run this and through tighten that down so a little something like that wash or not washer nut that holds we want to tighten that down now we're gonna get this thing on here I gotta tighten it down 
Then we're gonna run another threader rod through here with another nut and bolt. And that's what's gonna hold this. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's just get this set up right. right. Tighten this thing down. While Chris preps those. I already tightened this down. And let's get this started. Giving a little tight down from the top. What I did was add a washer and two nuts on top as well. That's the same way it was. Just putting it back the same exact way. That looks legit. Now we're gonna get another washer and nut through here and run the threader rod down with another washer and nut. We got the spring. It's gonna stay there. I already got the threader rod through the hole. Got that. It's gonna go there. Spring a bit, tighten that down, and I pretty much you want to secure it from underneath. Let me set this up. All right, we got that set up. Got to run this nut down, and when I tighten that, it should be lifting the unit up. I got a level on here. Just gotta see how we're gonna lift this up. We need to get that side and try to balance this thing up. Tight space to be in. But little by little, this unit should be lifting up. All right, that's already looking a bit leveled. I'm gonna chop this up at the end. We'll tighten this down. Let's get the other ones on and find a good balance. Cook it up. Okay. All right, that's out. All right, so pretty much we're just gonna repeat this process. So let's start with the second one. So we balance this side. There's no way I want to get underneath there until the other side is supported, even though it's only, it is supported on one side. I want to see what we can do. I'd rather have more security before I even get anywhere close to underneath there. We've got the ready to washer and everything there. All right. Got one more of these to come up. All right, guys, that is looking superb. Gotta get the one in the corner over there and bring that up. But the unit looks leveled now. That's beautiful. Let's just get the back side. We should be okay. I also picked up a new belt. All right, made it back here. One thing I noticed as well, look at this. The screw for the motor got loose. This cover is missing screws. This is an easy way to get to the belt here. All right. Let's get this off. Let's hold back. All these things got destroyed. Get this one out on a ladder and we just continue we're gonna have three of them like that might be better just to put the fourth one so it matches okay let's get this one started all right washer two knots this is locked down, that's locked down. This is like this. If you tighten down on this nut, this rod will come down and compress this spring. And 
pretty much. I'm just gonna bring this knot down. Turn it up here as it's holding already on the bottom. Then I'm gonna chop off the end here as that's excess. All right guys, that's looking a lot better. All new rods, new washers. And as far as everything, I double knee, I double backed the other edge. So we're a bit safer. Look at these bearings. Man, these things are dry. Super dry. Need some grease. Man, what is that? What the? What is that? That's the insulation. Maybe that whole blade is all wobbly. It's also why it's making noise. Look at that. It freaking ate that thing. Oh, that's bad. Whoa. How are they even moving any air? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What stuff they got in here? Come on. Oh, boy. All this stuff is just caked on there. Got a lot of it out. This thing is bone dry. All right. Let's get that going around. So a little bit of the grease come out. Let's just get a little bit more on there. All right, guys, that looks great. Got the fan on. Got to get some screws here. There's no screws. Just got a little bit of shaking covers but everything sounds a lot better and this thing is not one threaded rod away from being on the floor everything's nice and leveled threaded rods cut new nuts and bolts you see that cover shaking Let's get some screws on there what would be good if they had vibration pads underneath this that's what should really should have been here as well now that i think of it but it is what it is i tightened down the screw for the motor changed the belt four new vibration isolators new threaded rod new nuts and bolts grease the bearings let's give this thing a shot let's just uh organize our stuff here but we're gonna wrap it up if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time